guys welcome back to my channel and hey hey i just decided to try a little bit of deco just touch things up a bit i hope you love my setup i think it's kind of like pretty yeah so hey in today's video i want to make a moisture spray we all know that if you have a natural hair the most important thing for you to do is to always apply moisture to your hair most importantly if you have high porosity hair like i do now uh instead of you just applying only water we know a lot of people love to infuse several things into their water and i'm going to be showing you one of the major things i love to infuse into my water to make my hair moisture spray right and this moisture spray is so nice it's going to help you with um length retention is going to strengthen your hair follicles your hair shaft is going to help you reduce shedding it's going to overall help you get a healthy hair i noticed when i was i was using this particular hair um spray that my hair actually felt better i really love the way my hair turned out overall i always say i'm not very big on hair length because i will always choose a healthy hair over a very long hair i mean if your hair can be healthy and very long that's a major plus yeah so anyway let's get into the ingredients that i'll be using for this um preparation so first things i have here is my rice powder so guys this is your normal eating rice okay i saw a lot of hair videos people use a particular brand of rice and someone is asking must they use that particular brand so i'm just using ordinary rice okay you don't have to have any particular brand of rice right and now this is um yeah this is two tablespoons of rice powder i grinded my rice myself prepared my rice powder myself grinded it and turned it to powder i'm choosing to use powder for this because i feel like you know it's just like a fetish kind of thing i feel when ingredients are in powdered form they actually you know infuse very well and they work better i don't know you can use normal rice if you want i just grinded it with my blender so here is my fenugreek seeds i'm also going to be using fenugreek for this preparation and hey i wanted you to see the fenugreek seed see what fenugreek um basically looks like and i'm going to be using fenugreek seeds then i'm going to grind these and after grinding this i'll be back okay next thing i want to do is for me to add water i'm just going to add a cup of water into this rice okay now this cup is um, basically a lot but you can have it less if you choose it doesn't have to really be up to a cup of water but you can have like a half cup of water since we already are going to be working with fenugreek so but well i'm using a cup of water anyways i know that the rice powder will infuse completely into this water because it's in powdered form so but do not put more than half more than one cup of water to your two tablespoons of rice powder half cup really does the magic but yeah we could go so guys i am done grinding my fenugreek powder the next thing i'm going to have to do is turn my powder into this bowl okay so it didn't really grind into a completely fine powder it still has a bit of particles here and there but it's okay we can work with this really I mean, besides, most people basically just use the seeds, but, you know, I really want all the nutrients as much as possible to go inside the water. That's why I have to grind mine. So, even if it's not completely um, a very fine powder, like you can see here, hope you can see this. It's not completely a very fine powder, but, I mean, you can work with this, really. Okay, so now, the next thing I'm going to do is turn my one cup of water again into my fenugreek powder and i'll just give this uh, a gentle stir now these are not the only ingredients i'm going to be using for this hair spray um, i have other ingredients which i will unfold to you as we get along in the video all right yes, so the next thing i want to do is i'm going to have to like cover this and allow it to sit so this is the most fermented fenugreek water you have ever seen guys i said i was going to keep this for a few hours but guess what <laughs> i kept it for days i can't be 
remember when I even did I think this is like three days. I'm going to confirm and put it on the screen. Hmm. Um, three days or so, this thing has been brewing. Le quadi, le quan, no. Just, just check a look. Check a look. You know, it's not even check a look. check a look. Oh, God. But I'm going to have to really work on this because I don't want to introduce bacteria into my hair. So, let me see what I can do to this thing now, okay? So, the next thing I'm going to do now, remember this is the rice water. I'm just going to sieve in the fenugreek water inside here as well. Okay, just sieve it all as I want. This is my edible sieve. This thing I'm using to do this thing. So, here we go. This is really fermented. Like, really, really fermented, guys. Like I'm saying, this is my edible sieve. I'll, I'll just have to ensure that I wash this and soak this thoroughly because I use it for edible stuff. This is what this whole thing is looking like at the moment, and I must really warn you this thing is smelly. I mean, when I say it is smelly I actually mean it is very very smelly trust me <laughs> this is the most smelliest smelling thing you have ever ever witnessed mm. okay now I'm going to add a few things more to this because I obviously wouldn't just be having some fermented rice water and fenugreek water in my hair just like that nobody does that i'm going to be adding some oils okay i'm going to be adding tea tree essential oil i'm going to be adding about a tablespoon of it this is my tea tree essential oil and i will stir right so in case you don't know the hair benefits of tea tree essential not essential oil darling sorry this is carrier oil tea tree carrier oil to the hair if you don't know the benefits of it you're going to have to look at your screen and i'm going to put it up for you all so you can read it out screen munch it save it the next oil i want to put is peppermint oil i'm going to put in half tablespoon of this oil peppermint oil not the essential oil like the carrier oil half is great can you see Hope so. and having done that mm, trust me i'm actually trying to perceive this bringing it close to my nose and um, I think it begins to have a very sweet smell, which is lovely. But I'm not even done with all the things I will be adding to this yet. I'm going to be adding my sweet orange essential oil. I love the smell of this essential oil. It's amazing. I think I'm going to buy another one when I run out of this one for my DIYs. I have essential oils for my products, but DIYs... <laughs> concussions are different so yeah so i'm going to be adding like 15 drops of this so count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh, oh my god okay that was fast what happened here now the next essential oil i want to add is my t2 essential oil i'm just going to add a maximum of 10 drops of this i hope it doesn't run as fast as the other one please be nice Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's ten. Ten drops of the tea tree essential oil. Hmm, this has a very lovely aroma right now. Is it aroma or scent or fragrance? I think it, it's fragrance. Yes. Yeah? So it has a very lovely fragrance right now. And oh my goodness, this is nice. Hmm. You will hardly even tell that it had a a, a fermented smell of rice and um, fenugreek 
Oh my god, I'm in love with this. Mmm, you almost want to eat it. So, at this point, I've defeated the smell and also added beneficial ingredients to this liquid. Now, the next thing I'm going to be using is my aloe vera. I just plus these. So, I'm just going to like simply open these up. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get to blend this right to dissolve everything. So I'll just be back. This is the aloe vera juice, or would you say, yeah, juice. So this is the aloe vera juice. I just use my stick blender to blend this, and it's quite foamy. So what I'm going to do is I'll just allow the foam to come down so that we can see the clear liquid. And after that, I'm going to add it into my liquid mixture. That's the rice water and fenugreek mixture. This is our fenugreek and rice water here. Oh, I'm making a mess. I'm holding my phone. I'm not using the stand. And that's why it's kind of unsteady. So this is the aloe vera juice. So after I scooped it out, I blended it with the immersion blender and I sieved it. So this is all the juice that I have. So I'll just mix it all together. I think this um, rice water and fenugreek is too much for that little juice I added in, but we move. So maybe later on I will get more juice or not. I mean more aloe vera juice. Maybe, maybe not. But then, this is it. I have actually done my liquid now and I've added it into my spray bottle. As you can see, my spray bottle seems to have the same color with my t-shirt. Anyway, so I haven't added the preservative yet, but I will add it. Oh, I haven't gotten the preservative yet. You have to use this DIY like three to one week, three to seven days between you when you make it. And ensure that you keep it refrigerated, okay? Now, because I may forget to refrigerate, I will have to add a preservative. Now, there's something about this um, thing I didn't tell you. It's going to, because of the oils here, it's going to help keep your hair moisturized. Your hair is going to stay soft, stay sleek. And it's not just ordinary water. So this is actually the advantage. I'm going to get along now to spray this into my hair. So you can actually just pat your hair into sections depending on how thick or how full your hair is and ensure to spray from your scalp to your hair to the tip of the hair. Don't just spritz it all over your hair. Ensure it goes into your scalp and massage with your hands. I want to tell you here yeah, if you know you're going to do this thing ensure you're wearing a dirty shirt ensure you're wearing a shirt that you're going to wash soon enough you don't want to have you know your best dress or you don't want to be going out and then you're applying this thing when you're about to go out and i also said that you can use this as a leave-in for me personally i will apply this as a leave-in it has this funny smell which if you're not comfortable with ensure that before you ferment your rice and your fenugreek you add lemon peel or orange peel to your water or your fenugreek your rice water or your fenugreek water before it ferments all right so that it doesn't have that smell and then you can add some extra you know essential oil of choice to help kill the smell you can even add the essential oil before it actually gets to ferment right so you can use this as a pre-pull as well if you don't want it as a leave-in use it as a pre-pull a day before you get to shampoo your hair it's also very great i always say do what works for you you don't have to listen to me you don't have to listen to anybody listen to your hair i don't want to bore you all by you know having to fill this video with me applying this on my hair i think i've said everything that needs to be said so you should just try this and let me know how it goes for you after you've tried it you know tell me in the comment section and if there's any other thing question you have or any other the hour you want me to do please let me know this is going to help soften your hair this is going to help hair growth this is going to help eliminate itching dandruff you know your scratches scratches scratching every time it's going to help you solve all of that issues thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video it helps you to tell other people what is going on here and also don't forget to share this video with your natural hair community and all your natural hair sisters, natural hair gang. I'm going to see you all in my next videos.